All right, guys, here's the deal. We are in urban South Florida. There's like construction guys over here. This is the side of a road somewhere and there's a little makeshift boat ramp that we see people ramping in. There's This is this part of the C14 that you can't access. I'm not even sure if we're really supposed to ramp here, but there's garbage all over the place. There's like a cast iron pipe. I don't even know what it's there for. But guys, we're gonna ramp here. We're gonna throw the boat in the water. We've got live shiners, and we are going to slow troll. Some of these bridges are really, really shallow, but we're gonna try it out. We're exploring, never fished this part of the water before. Guys, stay tuned to see what us and the rolls can do. I don't, this, this looks weird. Hopefully we don't get stuck. All right, guys, like, subscribe, and share. Let's get to fishing. What's up, guys? I do need a ride. Um, huh? Okay. Yeah, well. Oh, you do fit through the bridge? I bet it's a tight squeeze. Guys, this is actually the C14, but it's a, a very hidden portion of it. Clown knife jaw? It's like a retractable. Dude, what is that? I think that's like a, a barracuda that needed braces. Oh, <laughs> either that or it's somebody's retainer. <laughs> oh. oh, guys, we're gonna fish. This is urban fishing at its best. Uh, we are, we've got some live shinies, right? You guys gotta get some water in that, that shiny well. All right, guys, this bridge, yesterday when we were come up, coming up with this plan, this, this bridge, they, they had, they were letting water out. It was super, the water level was down. That was, that yeah, that was not good. Who will be the first one to hook up here, guys? Oh, you just smashed your shiner on your tongue. All right, this is the first. This bridge is so low. Now, the skiff can go underneath it. But literally, I'm going to have to drop my trolling motor in order to get underneath this bridge, guys. It's, it's so low. Look at this. I can almost see up over the, the top. Okay, we're hoping that these guys hook up here. Lorenzo, cast at that pile on there, bro. All right, guys, we're going under this bridge. Everybody watch your head. Everything's down? Dude, if we catch a fish in here, it's gonna be really awkward. All right, guys, I'm on my knees, trying to get underneath this bridge. They, they have the water level way up. Yesterday, the water level was down probably four more feet. You get hit? You just crushed your shiner. All right, here we go, guys. This is urban fishing. South Florida urban fishing, right here, guys. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, it looks like it's going up a little bit. All right, all right, this is good. The pitch of the bridge is going up. This helps us out a little bit. Yeah. Show that pitch. Lorenzo keeps smashing shiners. So it falls. There it is. I keep telling you to slow troll. Dad, the level is still not working. Oh, I'm on. You're on? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna jump. This is on, guys. Oh, perfect! 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 Stop! Perfect! 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 Don't let him in the pylon, bro. I'm gonna get you out of the bridge, dude. Just in case. Watch that hook. All right. Okay, let your bail open. Open your bail, buddy. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. What broke? Okay. <laughs> Dude. You get your hook back? <laughs> He's a baby. 
Oh my gosh, guys, this is the smallest tarpon <laughs> that I've ever oh. seen. Oh. This is the smallest, guys, this is the smallest tarpon we've ever seen on our boat. Hundred percent. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, we got shiners that size. We want to throw them out for bait. Oh, he can literally live in here. Let's see. He oh, is. Uh, he's, he's under twenty. He's under twenty. Uh, no, he's about twenty-one. No, that's that's nine. Twenty-one. That's eighteen. Twenty-one. Yes, twenty-one. Twenty-one. Twenty-one inch tarpon, guys. He's having an aquarium. That would be. All right. Good job, dude. That didn't take long at all. It didn't all. take long. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. The best jump of the day comes on the release. It's okay. fantastic. All right. That didn't take long, guys. One tarpon down. Many to go. So Look at this. has got a, a big true old, a a true right big old shiny dude. Come on. Bro, get him behind the boat, man. Behind the boat. Come on, baby. Come on, boys. And girl, look how hard this. All right, the just got hit. Was that from you setting the hook, or was that from him? I didn't set the hook. You didn't set the hook. Those fish. Dude, let me see that again. Dude, the shiner's head got ripped off. That's the first. Dang. What recipe? R.I.P. Baby. Oh, he's decapitated. Yeah, he's. Yep. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, guys, it's been slow. The kids have gotten a couple hits, but have not been able to connect. We are in like urban, urban South Florida here. There's iguanas everywhere. Like look, literally, look at all the iguanas on the seawalls. It's crazy. So we're almost at the end of the line for the canal here. Uh, we've been trolling for about an hour. Just got the one fish. Yeah. If fish are bothered by noise, then uh, that's not good. Unless they're used to the noise here, then they won't hear us because that, that noise is masking our noise. I don't know. Ryan is on. Dude, Keep tension, buddy. Is he on? Come on, guys. Finally, after all this time. Did he jump? We are on, guys. Sorry. Nice snook. Get, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, wow. Just get him in the net, get him in the net, get him in the net. All right, Lorenzo grabbed him. Nice. All right, let's see. Okay, Ryan roll. Nice fish, man. Yeah. Now, now, guys, here's the deal. This is a freshwater snook right here. If there's ever a freshwater snook that I've seen, he's this guy is like uh, looks like the color of my coffee. Okay, let's get a measure. Okay, on the zero. Twenty-five. How much? 25. I said 26. 25. 25? Yep. All right, 25. Nice. Ron, you want to get a release going right here, bud? Yeah. Ron, are you driving? Here, let's get a release going. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. <laughs> very, very nice. Very, very nice. Get that freshie going. Get that freshie going. All right, I think he's ready, bro. Yeah, there he goes. Beautiful. Yeah. Nice. Sweet. Ryan Roll. Congratulations, buddy. Yes, awesome. Whoa. All right, a snook All right. and a tarpon. All right, can't be bad. We'll, we'll take that. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. We have been fishing now for about two hours. It's been slow. We've had a few hits that we've missed, but the only significant hits that we've had are Lorenzo's tarpon. Little munchkin, like, no, like oh, three. Yeah, big, big mullet. Three, three, like a three pound tarpon. And Ryan Roll caught a nice snook, a nice, strictly freshwater snook. If that, if, if I think, if that tarpon, I mean, if that snook really wanted to, I think he could eat that tarpon that I caught. The snook probably could have eaten the tarpon, maybe. But guys, we the problem is we only have three baits left. So 
Uh, I've got about an hour to fish before we actually have to be on the road home, but we've got only got three baits left, so it might even get cut short. Let's see if we can get something else on these one of these last three baits. Guys, are we gonna get something on these last three baits? Come on, let's get something, guys. Uh, it's hot. Uh, it's hot. And he's wearing a jacket. I don't know why you're doing that. Well, guys, a tarpon and a snook. That's it, dude. I got fire ants all over my hand. Yeah, a tarpon and a snook. Will Lorenzo get the boat on? Round three. You got a lot of wind. A lot of wind. Wind makes a big difference when ramping a boat. Watch out, Jordan. Oh, poor thing. Oh! Come on, you got it. Go, 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 go. Hit it. Hit it. Easy, easy. All right. All right. Yeah, you can hit you can hit the engine, son. Good job. Okay, Ryan, we, we got the ramp boat on the trailer. The kids are gonna go start looking for food. Now, this is this other stretch of the C14. I'm not even sure if we're legally allowed to ramp here, but we did. Yeah, I don't see no signs. I don't see any signs, and I see guys doing it all the time. So, congratulations on your fresh water snow. Yeah, yeah. I think this is. Uh, I definitely think it's up for another try. But yeah. Then we realize that maybe we'll try. I guess the flow of the water is going this way. So yeah. That's the way to go. It's gotta go with the flow. We saw a tarpon rolling. Um, we got two snook. We lost that one on the field. Yep. We had so another big snook on. Packed up with some more blue. Some more shiners. Yeah, that was that was hot, man. Well, yeah. thanks for coming with us, bro. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. All right, here we go, guys. Like, subscribe, and share. Hope you enjoyed this adventurous new spot episode of Urban South Florida Fishing. You guys, until next time. Watch your lid. Hold on, let's try that again. That was terrible. One, two, three. Watch your lid. Bam. All right, you guys catch any minnows? What's up? Yeah. Uh, you guys are wearing shoes, right? Yeah. Lord knows what's in this water. All right, you get any minnows, son? You got two. Uh, come on, give me, give me a little uh, description of what you're doing here. What are you doing with these minnows? Oh. What are you doing with the minnows? Yeah, they, Lorenzo's got. He's not gonna say, it. guys. Lorenzo's got a little baby peacock bass in, in a, an aquarium and he's getting food for his baby peacock bass. So he's catching little tiny mosquito fish that big. And uh, he saw them here at the boat ramp and that's what he's putting into the Gatorade bottle. So they eat them? Oh yeah, they'll eat them. Oh, they go crazy. <laughs>